Now, in this lecture, we're going to learn React component method called force update. As you know, when your state and property change, your component re-render. But what if your component is dependent on something else, not on your state or property? In that case, you can use force update method to forcefully update the component or you can say to tell the React that the component need re-rendering by calling force update. Let's take a look at how to use this force update method. I'm going to create a simple example of random number generator. So inside my app folder, here I'm going to create a new file and name it app.js. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this file. Here I'm going to create a class component. So I'm going to simply see here, react class component. This will create a class, app and extend with a component. Now let me import this app inside my index.js. Here I'm going to get rid of this route. I'm going to specify app folder and app file. And I'm going to copy this app and specify that here. Just like this. Save this file. Just out of that, I'm going to back to my app.js. And inside this JSX, I'm going to simply create h2 heading tag. And here I'm going to say generate random numbers. And just down here, I'm going to create h4 heading tag. And then inside it, I'm going to say random numbers. And here I'm going to print some random numbers. So here I'm going to call curly braces and inside it, I'm going to call an object called math. And using this math object, I can access a random method. So I'm going to say here dot random. This is a method. So I'm going to pass here parentheses. Math is a global object. You can access it anywhere in JavaScript. Just for that, just down here, I'm going to create a button. And to this button, I'm going to call an event on click is equal to and in the curly braces. I'm going to specify my callback function. So I'm going to leave this as it is for now. And to this button, I'm going to specify force update. And just for that, I'm going to create this handler function to this button. So inside this component at the top, here I'm going to create force update state handler function. And then specify parentheses and then specify curly braces. So now this is my handler function. But if you create your handler function like this, then you need to create a constructor as well. And then you need to bind this callback function with this on click event to work this component properly. So to save that lines, instead of this curly braces, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify here equal to sign like this, then specify an arrow and specify here curly braces like this. So now this will create a property of this component and specify a function to it. Now I'm going to just use this property inside this on click event. So here I'm going to simply say this dot force update state. You can specify any name to this function. That's upon you. Just for that inside this function, inside this handler function, I'm going to call a component force update method. So here I'm going to say this dot force update. And just for that I'm going to pass parentheses here. You can notice how I call this force update method. Now this method is going to re-render the component whenever I click on this button. So when I click on the button, it will call this handler function and inside it, I have this force update. So this method will re-render this component. Let me save this file back to my component. And as you can see, I'm going to have here a message generate random numbers. And this is my first random number. And when I click on this force update, you can notice here, this will update this random number. When I click on it, you can see this button is going to update this random number. Now, basically this button is updating or you can say re-rendering the component. Whenever the component re-render, the random method will return random number. So using this button, I'm forcing the component to re-render. But normally you should try to avoid this force update method. Instead, you can use state or property. Now for an exercise, you have to convert this complete example into state. Or if you want, you can convert it into property as well. You have to create a state and update this random number whenever you click on this button. You have to convert this complete example into state. Or if you want, you can convert it into property as well. That's upon you. Once you've done that, comment me down.